Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Finally. <laughs> okay. Just a Just a yeah, no problem. Okay. Can you hear me? Hi. Yes, you are audible. Great. Uh, hi, my name is Sarah, and I am speaking to you from Bangalore. Can you please give me a little introduction of yourself? Yes, Sarah. Hi. Uh, my name is Mr. Koduthuru Madhu. I belongs to the state of Andhra Pradesh, Anandapur district. Recently, I did my BE in Electronics and Communication Engineering from Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University, Anandapur. Currently, mm -hmm. I'm working at Amazon as a transaction risk investigator. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a YouTuber, content creator, blogger, and currently I'm mm -hmm. buzzing my master's in English literature. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is all about me. Okay, and very nice. <laughs> thank you. Right. You were saying something, right? Yeah, it, this is my first session with the Clabbingo. I've never been mm -hmm. here since, uh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Okay, all right. And um, I think, have you had a demo session before? Yes, uh, but unfortunately, I haven't uh, took the subscription. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. This is no problem. Yeah, no problem. That's okay. So, uh, Kuruthuru, so far you were able to give me like a very good introduction of yourself. Your uh, sentences were on point. So, um, what are some areas you want to improve on? Um, I think um, I'm I'm pretty confident about my English, uh, but mm -hmm. I love to interact in the, with the people and uh. learn the culture and uh, you know. Uh, the main reason is I have a YouTube channel so that I have to upload the videos there and maybe my subscribers will get notified with my English and maybe they, uh, it might be helpful for them also. This is all about all right. the, yeah. All right. Okay. That's great. That's great. So um, normally what we do in Clapping Go is we have a document and we talk about that document, right? So yes. do you want to talk about a document or do you just want to have a general conversation? Um. Okay, with the uh, both, uh, I go mm -hmm. with uh, any of that according to your wish. I'm okay. ready to accept both the challenges. <laughs> All right, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. So um, today's document, the session topic given to us is about traveling. Yes. So I do you like that. to travel? Yes. Uh, in the human beings, everyone used to like the travel and it, mm -hmm. uh, they love to explore the culture. They love to mm -hmm. interact with the new people and they love to know about the different perspective of the world. Yeah, mm -hmm. obviously, I like the <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. And um, what is your favorite mode of transportation? Like, for example, I prefer, I actually prefer airplane because it saves time and all, right? And it's just yes. more comfortable. So what do you prefer? Uh, definitely, I'll go with the train because okay. uh, many people won't be, can't affordable the cost with the aeroplane. Mm -hmm. So I definitely choose the Indian Railways because Indian mm -hmm. Railways provide such a facility, uh, such a good facilities to the uh, all mode of the people. Uh, it is not about mm -hmm. the cost or community, whatever thing may be. I right. strongly uh, uh, like suggest Indian Railways because uh, mm -hmm. some categories of the people likes to travel in aeroplane, but they can't afford mm -hmm. the cost. Yeah, and uh, yeah. yeah, I yeah, go absolutely. with the, with I go the, with the railways, right? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. And um, have you ever traveled abroad? No. In the future, I have dreamed to travel abroad. Okay. Uh, if in case I get the chance to travel in abroad, then I definitely choose. I definitely travel. Okay. That's great. And um, give me a list of all the places you've been to. Um, unfortunately, sorry. I, uh, you know, I went only Bangalore and... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, in, uh, except Andhra Pradesh, I traveled. Karnataka is the only state that I uh -huh. I've been uh, since mm -hmm. my childhood, and mm -hmm. uh, Hyderabad because it's a far city for us. Mm -hmm. And yeah, those two only. I never traveled in before, but I have a dream towards travel. In the future, okay. definitely I'll go into travel some places. Like mm -hmm. uh, I have a dream uh, like Japan, uh, mm -hmm. Canada, America. And some other beautiful places I need to travel in my future. Definitely, if okay. I get the chance, please definitely I'll travel there. Okay, that's great. That's very good. And um, okay, so so far you've told me a lot about you know places you would like to travel, and you told me about foreign places, and you told me about the fact that you've only been to Bangalore and Hyderabad, right, and mm. Karnataka areas. Yes. So tell me a little about your trip to Hyderabad. What did you do? How was it? How old were you? Basic things. Okay. Okay, so I'm just about 20 years, uh, 20 years old right now. 
so while I was at 18 years old, uh, I went to Hyderabad uh, because mm-hmm. um, uh, my relatives are there in Hyderabad. Uh, Mm-hmm. like my uncle uncle is there so mm-hmm. we have one bakery is there uh, so in a holidays i usually travel to hyderabad to my hometown because of uh, uh, you know uh, i used to visit there some places like uh, uh, charminar is there in hyderabad mm-hmm. which is the most famous and uh, tank band is there and some mm-hmm. like uh, gardens are there those are the beautiful mm-hmm. places we can visit in the hyderabad and okay. we can also notice it is one of the most famous city for uh, it uh, sector like uh, uh-huh. information technology it is the hub for the it so uh-huh. okay. yes and also mm-hmm. the film industry ramoji film industry is the one of the biggest mm-hmm. uh, throughout the world so mm-hmm. those are the beautiful places we can visit through, uh, in hyderabad yeah right right and did you go there via train yes yes Yes. Okay, and how much time did it take you to go reach there? Uh, it took me about twelve hours to my hometown. Uh, I belongs to Anantapur district, Puttaparthi. I think you mm-hmm. might heard about that. No, no, I have not. I have not heard <laughs> of it. <laughs> no issues. No issues. Uh, but okay, it sounds very Bang- exotic though. <laughs> uh, for us, Bangalore is about one and a half hour journey. Most of the oh. people used to yes. For uh, no, most of the people from the Bangalore uh, devotees of Sri Satya Sai Bhagwan Baba in Puttaparthi. Ah uh-huh. ha. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. As I thought you okay. you heard about that, but unfortunately, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I don't live in. So, um, I've been living in Mumbai for twenty years of my life. Achha. I've just uh-huh. come to Bangalore like two months ago for my masters. Oh so, yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yes, sir. I have a question for you. So, can I ask? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Yes, uh, so yes, absolutely. I... yes i gone through with your you know bio uh, that you are doing mm-hmm. your masters and doing this like mm-hmm. you know conversation with the pupils how can you manage both in you know, a simultaneously <laughs> i can't <laughs> <laughs> no it's just that uh, so the thing is i'm pursuing my degree in psychology so i'm Achha. doing masters in counseling psychology oh yes so yes. Uh, so i used to work with clappingo around one and a half year ago but then That's i left it. it because i had my finals in t- third year semester and all mm-hmm. but uh, then when i came to bangalore i just you know i felt like okay i've learned a lot about counseling and i'm learning but i also want to sort of talk to people about things other than my subject oh. so i continued here yeah but so i don't great. take a lot of hours actually on weekdays i'll only put an hour, one hour or two hours on weekends That's i put like eight nine hours so <laughs> yeah So that's great. that's so our great. manager thank yes. you <laughs> yes you right, can proceed right. okay okay all right so yeah uh, so as i was saying um, it sounds like you have a really good hold on your sentences can you pronounce your name for me again i don't know Uh, do you know one thing? In before uh, the interview, uh, I have pronounced your name more than five times. Like, what should I call <laughs> Sarah or Sarah? H <laughs> is there, right? <laughs> no, no, it's it's. Uh, I actually your name is so different. I've never come across no, a name no. like that. No, no, no. Do you know one thing? My name is Kuduthuru Madhu. My uh, my first uh-huh. name is Kuduthuru, and uh, uh-huh. everyone used me call me with my second name Madhu. You can call it's me as simpler. Madhu. <laughs> it's simpler. <laughs> okay, so I'll just I'll just stick to Madhu then. Okay. Yes, uh, okay. and the very. first and the f- very first moment i i i want uh-huh. to tell you there but unfortunately i couldn't so i'm sorry for that <laughs> that's okay that's all right all right madhu let's do one thing we still have another 8 9 minutes remaining so yes. let's move to feedback okay because uh, yeah. i feel like there are certain areas that we can improve in yeah. so let me just tell you that first of all your vocabulary and your confidence are on point you're a very confident sweet interactive speaker so continue that keep that going because people like to talk to people who ask them questions right so excellent work on your confidence and your vocabulary now as i mentioned earlier your sentence structure is good when you introduced yourself to me you were able to frame sentences which were compact and meaningful at the same time so Thank that's you. excellent but whenever you talk about past tense that time i noticed a little bit of an error right okay. like like uh, saying things like i have been here and i have been there right so the full have been part gets missed sometimes right okay so um i think that past tense is one area you need to work on okay so what i will recommend is that normally when people are new to english i suggest going to youtube and learning about videos and all but that's not the correct way to approach this area especially okay. when you have english as good as you mm. correct 
Yes. So I'm going to give you a textbook which will really help you. You can find it on online. You can just download it for free. Okay. Have you heard okay. of this before? Ren and Martin. Uh no. Okay. Uh, just a moment. Just a moment. Just a moment. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just a moment. Uh, sorry for the interruption from my end. No problem. No problem. That's okay. So yeah. Ren and Martin is a grammar textbook. Okay. So okay. basically, what the textbook does is it covers everything you need to know about basic grammar. Achoo. So the, if you get the book on online, you can download it in PDF format. And when you go to the past tense area, they'll explain it to you in theory, and they'll give you exercises. Achoo. Right. Okay. Now the exercises will help you learn how to correct your grammar in practicality. So when you are talking to people, you will ensure that you don't make the same errors. Definitely, okay? I'll be working on so, that. Sure. Yeah. So that is about uh, your grammar. Other than okay. that, your grammar was really good. Now there is another area that we need to. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so I'm 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 really sorry. No, no, that's completely okay. I absolutely understand. That's fine. Now, yeah. um, so your sentence structure is really good, other than the past tense grammar part. So if you are able uh, to okay. correct that, it will be good. The sure. second thing is, I noticed this error at two places. Okay, you said I belongs to Andhra Pradesh. Okay. That's not right. It will be I belong. To... No, yeah. I belong <laughs> to. I belong. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So basically, belongs with an S is used in terms of she or he. So okay. if I'm saying he belongs to India or she belongs to Andhra Pradesh, that is right. But okay. if I'm saying I belong to Mumbai, then it won't be belongs. It will be belonger, singular. Okay. Okay. okay? So sure. I belong to Mumbai. Okay. I sure. belong to Andhra Pradesh. That was another thing. Now, okay. the main area we need to improve is your pronunciation. Right, there were a few areas here and there where words were mispronounced. I'm going to put these words in the chat box. Just pronounce the word for me. Okay. Sure, sure, definitely, definitely. I'll be working. Uh, it's a pupil. No, people. People. Okay. Yes. People. You, yeah. What you're pronouncing is this. Do you know what is pupil? Pupil. Yes, means yeah, a group of people. Yeah. Pupil is the yes. So no, huh. pupil is a student. Acha. <laughs> yeah. Okay. People is a group of persons. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. So you All got right. mixed up. That's fine. That's okay. So that's people. Okay. 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 What is this word? As. No. This is has. The previous one is just as. As. Okay. Yes. Correct. Now what you do you did is you mixed up as and has. Correct. As. So be sure. careful because both of them have different meanings. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about this word? Railway. 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 Yes. Railway. Okay. okay. And this one. America. America. Yes. <laughs> America. America. Okay. Very good. I'll give you one last word. Films. Film. Films. Film. Film. Okay. Sure. Film, film, F I L M, right? Okay. Film. film. Hmm. Okay. Somewhat film. better. See, the thing is, in your pronunciation, there is a little bit of mother tongue influence, right? So that is a very common error that comes in many people who haven't spoken in English since their birth, correct? Ah, mm, like yes. for example, I was born and brought up in an English-speaking household. Yes. So yes. for me, English comes very easy. But there are people who speak in different languages at home. So their exposure to talking in English is very restricted, right? Yes. So, yes. so MTI is very common. So don't have to, you don't have to feel worried about it. But it's just that when there are words like people, as they have similar words, they have other words which sound like them but have different meanings. Yes. Right. So when you're talking to someone and they take the different meaning, they won't be able to understand what you're saying. Right. It's in yes. places like these that pronunciation becomes important. Definitely, like, yes, I'll be working so, on it. Yeah, so I'll I'll let you I'll tell you a suggestion which could help, right? Have you heard of TED Talks? 
yes yes many yeah. i have seen many videos yeah absolutely ted talks is a great platform for you to learn how to pronounce words correctly yes. right and the thing is ted talk has many indian speakers yes right so whenever we listen to foreign speakers their accent is different than ours and we try to mimic that accent but we don't have to do that <laughs> yes so what i will recommend <laughs> is listening to indian speakers Achha. okay hmm. listen to the speakers see the way they are pronouncing common words right that's a great way for you to increase your exposure to english definitely okay, okay. so to summarize whatever you discussed so far uh, uh, madhu madhu yes. okay so yeah so your pronunciation is one area you need to work on and your past tense yes other than that you are a very interactive person to talk to so keep that going okay Def- definitely sara it's my first oh. interaction and you know it's a basic a uh, thing i did mistake yes i can realize mm-hmm. myself definitely mm-hmm. I, i won't repeat it again absolutely you see the thing is even if you repeat it it's okay we are here to help you right so you can't expect that one session and i'll be absolutely perfect it doesn't work that way right you need to practice yes. Yes, so yes, take yes. it and don't worry if you make the same mistake again it takes some time all right okay all right we still have another minute remaining so do you have any questions for me mm how many years uh, you have been working here like you know you told me a past uh, one year yeah, how did you get yeah. the just chance how did you get this chance this is my question uh, um uh, one of my friends was working over here as okay. a tutor and mm-hmm. she told me that you know do you want to earn money and i was like yes <laughs> then she said okay you can come here and work because we were all college students right so it was difficult yes. to find time to sort of devote mm-hmm. clapping mm-hmm. was very flexible you can just yes. put like two three hours a day and you earn well it gives you freedom which yes. really attracted me so i really like this job yes yes and yeah. uh, uh, one more question uh, so can i uh, can i uh, put this video into my channel is it okay yes, for yes. you yes yes absolutely thank you.